Finding employment can be difficult for people without skills. However, Slate Missouri Job Center offers job seekers the training and necessary skills required to finding employment at no cost. Joining us now is program manager, Rebecca V. Ritter. Hi, Rebecca, welcome to the program. Thank you, thanks for having me. What do we mean by people without skills? You know, when I first hear that, I think, well, everybody's got some kind of skills, so maybe kind of define what you mean by that a little bit. Sure, and um, like you just said, some people have a lot of talents, a lot of skills, but they don't know how to translate those skills into a resume or how to properly discuss those skills in an interview. So what we do at Slate, anybody in the city of St. Louis um, can come to Slate, like you said, for free between the hours of 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. to learn how to better market themselves to an employer. Do they have to kind of figure out what their skills are first? We have tools um, at Slate. Uh, we have online tools. We have counselors, career counselors who are available to help them discern what those skills are, identify those skills, and then how to communicate what those skills are. Yeah. I guess I should say that Slate stands for St. Louis Agency on Training and Employment. Yes, jobs and um, training are our number one goal, but we also have educational programs as well. Uh -huh. do, do you often find that people in this position, people that come in to see you, maybe think they have no skills or don't realize some of the skills that they may have? Yes. And a lot of times they say, I just need a job. And then we say, well, no, <laughs> because we could hand you a job. But if it's not something that you like doing or that you're very good at, you're not going to keep that job very long. Uh -huh. So what we do is we help them really hone in on what it is that you are capable of doing so that long-term career is what we help you access. Can you kind of give me a, just a general idea how that works? I come in and, um, I, hey, I need a job, and you say, no, Steve, you've got a skill. How do I figure out what my skill is? Well, okay, so you come into our center, you have a photo ID, you come through our welcome center, and you, you know, always, always there's, you know, the port part where you have to put your information into our system. What and, I've done in the past and that sort of thing? Yes, uh-huh, Your or just basically your contact information, um, who you are, where where you live, you know, those kinds of things. And then your interests and your and your past, you know, employment experience, your educational experience. And then um, you sit down with a, a counselor. Um, if you come to the Missouri Work Assistance Program, you'll sit with one of our, our career specialists and then you uh, start to have that conversation as to what it is that you're really looking to do and what you are capable of doing and then we start to translate that into what you potentially could do and what employers are currently hiring. I think I'm kind of reading between the lines you want to find somebody that somebody you want to find an employment that somebody wants to do as just opposed as a job, right? Correct. So you might you might try to find out what a person's passion is. Yes, we we are very much focused on what passion lies in, with each individual because, like I said, I, we can give jobs all day long, but when you find something and help people reach their fullest potential, that's when they really start to bloom and grow as in an individual. And that's what we're about, helping individuals, connecting real people to real jobs. Uh -huh. And most of us don't have the perfect job, but <clears throat> I think everybody kind of deserves to at least want to go to work every day. I mean, not avoid it, they, they want to go there. Right, exactly. And so uh, what we do is we help uh, we have what we call Workforce Wednesdays, where we have employers come every single Wednesday to give uh, interviews, real interviews, not just hand out information, but interviews with, with uh, clients. But what we have to tell them is you have to be prepared before you come. So we encourage them to come to our resume writing workshops, our interview skills development workshops um, prior to that so that they can be well prepared to present themselves in the best light. Is it unusual for someone to come in knowing the direction they want to go? Is that unusual? Um, I want to say yes and no, because we have different levels of clients that come through our doors. We have the clients that come in that have never worked before in their life. That's our younger population. But then we have some of those seasoned 
uh, employees that maybe have worked for 30 years on an assembly line and the factory shuts down and now maybe they have to learn technology that they're unfamiliar with. I can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> and so and so our goal or you know the the other part of that is we have educated individuals that maybe just have not um, ha found exactly what they're looking for. All right we're gonna pick up on this conversation in just a couple of moments. Stay with us right here at STL Live. We're going to have more with Slate right after this break. <laughs>